Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles in the bustling city of Dragonstone where we're looking down one of our many roads here. I do like to keep my roads straight uh, when I'm building my kingdoms. We're currently uh, nearby to the new set of bakers we have and our new uh, charcoal makers to help supply all the markets. It seems like they are faring a fair bit better now. I mean, they have to travel a fraction of the distance uh, that they previously did to get charcoal now and so they do all have charcoal and I don't know if there's any houses that are complaining about a lack of it. Some complaining about a lack of food so still a bit of a problem there. We'll have to keep an eye on that but if we go to happiness everyone's pretty happy apart from these guys over here because they don't have the proper amenities so they've just sort of been tacked on the end of all the other stuff we've got which is a, a little bit unfair on them. Uh, one thing though I've noticed is that this guy's happy because he has a, a beachfront property. Um, which is quite nice. That's the one thing that all these houses don't have. I think that is the one remaining um, bonus that uh, I've not bothered to give them. And so I was thinking about how I could rearrange this particular setup to make it work better. Oh, suddenly everyone's unhappy. What's happened? Why are you sad? I have no idea what just happened there. Oh, no food for them. These guys, if we compare, there is something missing. Nearby tavern? Then they don't have that. Is the tavern out of... It's not pretty... Why is there no happiness right now? Are we waiting for a delivery of food? Where are the workers? They're all there. Very strange. I'm going to fast forward and see if this changes. It's supposed to be consuming 10 food a year. Oh, Vikings are invading. Well, we'll have a look at that later. Let's go see what these guys are doing. They are attacking from the north. Well, they are going to this bit of land here. Well, let's muster the armies. They're a little bit far away. Uh, let's send... Sir Gavinus to that gate. And Sir... I think that's Johannes to this gate. And then our main force will defend the main gate, because they do like to flank us. Or at least try to. Doesn't really make sense. They're already at our flank, but they like to try flanking us by going around the front. I don't know, it's confusing. They have terrible strategy. Here we go, they're already in range of some of our towers, this shall be fine. But yeah, last episode we completed our army, I'm now happy with the number of people we've got. We've got 64 in our forces. And I imagine that should be plenty to do with any invasion forces that might manage to breach any gates. These guys are approaching this gate, but it has been sealed. And so, oh, they have nicked the gatekeeper. I like how they can do that, they can actually kidnap the gatekeeper. And then, oh, that guy went through the gate for a second, but now he's gone again. A little bit confusing and concerning. Oh, there they go through the bridge. They do love to knock down the bridges. They've got very strong boats. The, the holes are really good. They can just smash straight through these. That we, what we need to do, we need to build piers across. Then they won't be able to get through those. Got our forces ready at the front, but it seems like no one's really getting there. They don't seem to have brought their ogres. They've once again forgotten them. Which is fine by me. They're starting to approach this gate here, but I don't think they will be able to get through. There is one guy left, but all the archers are shooting at him. And the ballistas, there we go. Four ballista uh, bolts at once, or whatever they're called. Smashed into him at the same time from above. That can be nothing but horrifically painful. Here we go. Now all the guys that are trying to sneak around the side are gathering up over here. So we might have a bit of a fight. But there are plenty of towers shooting at them. Uh, looks like they're going to be here. Our forces are ready. Advance! Do not let them pass. They shall burn nothing today. There shall be no more burning. This is a relatively large force. All our people moving in. S okay, some of our people moving in. Oh, don't just let him pass. Jeez, you're just like, oh, well, we dealt with the foot soldiers. We thought the, you know, I mean, the other guy seemed nice enough. We thought we might let him in. I think that is it. Oh, no, there is still, uh, there's somebody getting away. Ooh, wait, I wonder if we could send out our army to deal with him. I don't know if we're quick enough, but it'll be worth a shot. Just send them to that boat. And if they get there, they get there. That'll be fun. No survivors. I sort of forgot about that, that yeah, you can actually go out and intercept them before they leave and potentially rescue the people they've kidnapped. I think they're going to get away. Come on, Gavinus, faster! You can do it! Get on the boat! Just board the boat! Oh my god, they can actually board the boat! Are they, are they in the sea? 
Are they able to attack right now? Attack them! Hack at the side of the hole or something! And I, I don't think it's working. I think once they're in boats, they can't be fought, unfortunately. So we can just taunt them as they, as they slowly sail away. We can actually walk faster than their boat is moving. Just shouting at them, running alongside. There we go. They're off. Ah well, next time we'll get them because we'll remember that we can do that a little bit earlier. Right, let's demolish that and rebuild the bridge. And everything is fine again. Did anybody die? Oh yeah, we did lose at least two people. What? 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 What were those? What are you firing at? Oh, we lost an archer tower. Again with the fires. Let's replace this, but I definitely saw some ballista shots just firing randomly at nowhere for a second there. Maybe they were firing at the boats and that was the shadow, because that was something I realised last episode, that when there were arrows flying along this way, or the, the shadows of arrows, it was actually the shadow of the tower here. And so I think it was the shadow of the arrows that the tower was firing, but they were going in a straight line, which was a little bit weird. I guess maybe when they're fired from that high up, they don't really have an arc anymore. They just go fairly straight and fairly, uh, fairly downwards. Anyway, let us send our general over to the barracks to get a couple of new people. We'll train two soldiers ready. None of the other generals need any reinforcements, that's all fine. Our population, our population is doing fairly okay apart from everyone constantly dying of old age and also we had a lot of peasants just get ill with the plague. That's, that's a bit scary. I hope our hospitals are enough. I'm not sure if they are. How, do, how many do we have? Is it only two? We may only have two hospitals. That's probably not enough for 200 people. I guess we'll keep an eye out for a whole bunch of people dying in a minute. Oh yeah, the people are not happy. The combination of the Viking attack managing to actually get some people killed. And uh, the plague has made people a little bit upset. Just a smidge. Let's uh, fast forward and see how this plague turns out and then possibly build some more hospitals in response to the horrific death that may occur. Okay, yeah, population is dropping fairly rapidly. That could be people leaving in despair. It was 13 peasants dying of plague. Okay, that's not bad. Zero is a better number, but it's, you know, I, I was worried that it'd be like 50. That's not too terrible. Anyway, this tavern is working again. I don't know what happened. It doesn't tell me if it has anything in stock or not, so I'm, I'm guessing that for some reason it didn't have the food it wanted. And so for a minute people weren't happy. Ooh, food is getting a little bit low there. Apparently, though, we're gaining stupid amounts of food, but we are not losing any to exposure. Which means it is it is all being used up by people that want it. So that's a little bit of a concern. Yeah, the number's getting a bit low here. What's this about? Let me fast forward and keep an eye on this number. I guess drop below 400, that's definitely bad. It nearly dropped below 300, and then suddenly the harvest came in and everything's fine again. I mean, it's, it's saying that we're gaining food, but maybe... I mean, maybe I'm just missing the years where we're losing it. We're back up to 1,000, and then... And it's a, a new year, and again it's saying that we've gained 300, but we've only lost a, a little bit to exposure, and... I, I don't think our food supplies are holding up. I think the, the numbers are lying. That doesn't seem right. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, fire has claimed a forester. I'm busy watching a dragon. Oh, it's that one as well, the only one in this area. Well, it might be a good opportunity to move things around. I'm sure the dragon will be dealt with easily enough. I will go watch it, just to be just to be sure. We'll actually fly near the kingdom. There's no point just like hovering around out there and taunting us. Not that you can do anything. There we go. Straight in the middle. Get shot to pieces. Oh, it looks like... Oh, he considered burning something, and then he was like, No, that was a bad idea. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake, and he's dead. Right, yes, yeah, so... Foresters, we could put two or three, I think, in this space without uh, having them overlap. We put one here. Nah, maybe we can only manage two, because if we put one here, then the best we can do... is to have one here. And then we wouldn't be able to have one anywhere else in this area, unfortunately. But yeah, we can have one there and then one in this corner. That's as close as you can get two foresters to be. So one here. Chop these. 
Before the forester is built, or they'll just start replanting them like crazy and it'll drive me mad. Not having that again. Come on, get on with it. One more tree. I'll build that one there. There we go. Space efficiency, and also tree efficiency, I suppose. Right, so yes, the happiness is now fine, so the tavern, I guess, just shut down for a little bit, because it ran out of food, maybe. Hard to tell. But anyway, what we were doing last episode, we, was, we were starting to build out this here. Oh god, no. That's a lot of fire. Don't you dare set the... Hang on. You recruit before it burns down, because it's entirely possible. Not having the barracks set on fire again. Right, we lost two charcoal makers. And an archer tower. And the archer towers are just par for the course. And actually the charcoal makers too. It does seem like charcoal makers are more flammable than other buildings. That might be deliberate just because it makes sense because they're working with fire on a daily basis. There have been some tweaks to fire stuff. I know that the statues I think now can't. Uh, I don't think they can set on fire anymore. And it's been made impossible for that to happen because they are entirely stone. And why would an entirely stone statue set on fire? So yeah, they, they've done that, and maybe they've also tweaked fire for other things and made it more likely in, in places that make sense and less likely in places it doesn't. We are definitely building up our supply of armaments here now. Also, let's send this general back to the gate. That is his domain. He must defend that there from any attacks that may come forth. Yeah, so last episode we were expanding out this bit of pier here so that we could uh, get more houses and have more people available for construction work. So I think I'll finish off this block and then go from there. So at this point I'm basically just going to be filling this whole thing in. So we'll just keep ordering more construction until everyone's busy. And leave them to it. And then we'll build a road down here. We'll get rid of that one farm and that should be okay. Well I say that. Oh that's not good. It's still saying we're gaining food unless somehow pluses or minuses now. Or something. I think we are losing food. Maybe the bakeries are breaking it? That's possible. I mean, it does say that, uh... It says how much is gained by bakeries, but it isn't saying how much is lost to bakeries in the first place, but maybe it just doesn't bother saying that. Maybe it factors that into the calculation. But now our food has peaked at 300 less than the previous year. I think the numbers... I think it's just using a plus instead of a minus. I think we're losing food in massive catastrophic amounts. And that's a worry, because we're not losing any to exposure, so it's not like we can improve things just by building another granary somewhere. Yeah, we're definitely losing food. We are about to start getting into zero territory. There we go, new harvest. Let me just watch it all get delivered. Just in case there's something weird going on with that. It all looks normal so far. This one, they're, well, they're all empty, aren't they? Because of the food issues, and that's why none's being lost to exposure, because every granary is being used to store the crops. But it is the case that all the food is getting to be stored somewhere. Right, we need to build new farms, we need to build them quick. Where do we put them? We'd also get rid of homes, but I don't want to go backwards in terms of a uh, population. Perhaps it's time to start settling on this island here. This has some really good farmland around it, so that would be good. Maybe at the front of here. I mean, there's some nice land around here that is right next to places. The home's right here and so on. We can defend it fairly easily with our armies and by expanding out the walls a bit. That was where I was thinking of taking the walls next as I bring them along here. I was going to come to this corner and then cross over this way and then slowly uh, protect this area here. We've got a whole bunch of people free. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in this section here with piers. That might take people a bit too long, but then what we can do is build all our granaries and stuff here and then surround them with farms. That's the idea. In the meantime, maybe I will have to get rid of some homes. I think I'd totally build new homes right here so that I could get more uh, more builders right now, but that would uh, be detrimental quite significantly. It's weird because I'd, I'd sort out these bonuses. Have they, like, changed them again? No, this is still 24 food per year. 
Is it the bakeries? Have they ruined everything? That shouldn't make sense, because they do ultimately generate more food than they use up. Well, that wouldn't make any sense if it worked any other way. But I swear we were drowning in food and we had loads of extra production than consumption, as far as I could tell. Maybe I just wildly... I was wildly inaccurate with my, uh, with my guesses. Right, let's, let's work out the bounds of this area. At some point, this wall will be removed, but that's a, little, a while away yet. Once that happens, we'll have a road running along here. So what we also might want is a road running along here. Then again, we have seen over here that we can have it uh, five wide and still be okay. In fact, I think you can have it six wide. And that'll be useful because there is some good farmland here. I mean, there's good farmland everywhere in this particular area. I like to make full use of all the best land if I can. Annoyingly, it's there's intermingled like land of all different kinds. So there's random patches of uh, of barren land in amongst really good land. I guess that's where we put the windmills. Get back to the uh, the spring so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. We can line up the windmills fairly well. Not perfect though. This is going to be a bit of a slapdash one relative to our usual farm things. Where we like to make a, a really nice even square. Just because there is a patch of, uh, of useless land in the middle of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably eleven and then we have this rubbishy, useless land here be covered by road. And this huge block here, we'll ha just have to see what we can do in terms of uh, building farms. In fact, what we'll do, now the roads are there, we'll, yeah, we can build anything ar anywhere around here. You can see the limits out here. There are no limits inside because we have everything covered. Apparently, uh, I think piers act as roads in terms of, uh, of building around them. I think that is just how they're made, that actually a pier works as a road, and building a road on a pier is maybe pointless, but the game never tells you that, so I just did it anyway. Let's just start lining up along the edge here and then work out what we want to do with windmills. I guess we want to have one there. It does make the most sense just to put windmills in as frequently as possible, really. So there, 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 there. Actually, I haven't lined this up right. Did I miscount? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I did miscount. I am derp. Of course, because I counted that as well. So, yeah, I was thinking of making it odd so that it uh, lined up nicely in terms of the windmills. Even though I made it even this way as well. Whatever. We've got some farms being made that should hopefully... Oh, God. Oh, no. It's getting bad. Let's see, I mean, I'll order a windmill here because there's no reason not to. We'll pick the wind direction, we'll have it be this way. And maybe I'll just build one there, maybe just one in all of the, the useless spots and then just build farms everywhere else and then work things out a little bit more properly later. We'll fast forward for now because work has been ordered. Oh, oh really? We just lost the Chamber of War. It just burned down. Why do we keep losing all our important military buildings? I mean, I know it's surrounded on all sides by walls and maybe, the, the, you know, the... There's... what? Well, does that even make sense? I mean, really, it, I, I don't know how everything else didn't also set on fire, considering how enclosed it was relative to everything else. This might now mean that we can hire another three generals, not that I particularly want to do that. Right, back over here. Well, great. Oh, we've just... Well, this is going to be a bad year for food, then. A whole bunch of our farms have just not produced anything this year. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna order farms everywhere. All of the farms. Everyone become a farmer. Well, be, be a builder first, and then become a farmer. There. That should fix the food problem. And then plonk some windmills down in the middle of it. And that should help. Piers are all being completed now. Oh, we'll have to make sure we have some actual storage here. 
uh, which way is the which side is the front? It is that side. Plonk that there. We lost a windmill somewhere else. Oh god. Oh, we just lost a lot. What's going on? Right, windmill first. Yeah, just this whole section around here is gone. Demolish all these. Farm here. And of course, they've immediately planted a tree. I'm just going to repeatedly click so that I have the timing right. There we go, ordered that, and then we build the archer tower up here. Back over to the work over here. Is food doing okay so far? I don't know if these have managed to... A couple of them have got a harvest, but not a proper one yet. This is in progress. Suddenly everyone's free because they finished the piers. A dragon has turned up. Should be able to deal with this easily enough. Oh god, is that the highest our food's getting? Yep, that was the peak of the harvest, as far as I can tell there. 400. Happiness is okay so far. No one's complaining of starvation, but it's only a matter of time. We're down to under 100. Oh, we just lost a bridge there. We're down to the 10s. It's never going to get to exactly zero, just because there'll be food in the wrong places that people... Oh, it got to zero there for a second, and then it went negative for a second. Okay, yeah, our food situation uh, is very bad. At least everyone's happy about the recent dragon kill. We just, uh... Build that there. I mean, the, this harvest is being brought in now. That's much better. The peak was like 400 before. We're still having to take it a little bit far away to deliver it, but currently all the granaries have plenty of space. This one will be finished momentarily. Maybe I should just keep going. I mean, we'll need this food eventually either way. I just don't want every one that I have to be, uh, to be farming. Yeah, let's just fill in the remaining space. And order a couple more windmills in a very slapdash fashion. There's no wells around here, it's all terrible, but we've, we've got our emergency farms built, and hopefully that is enough to, uh, to prevent any starvation issues from developing. And we'll clean it up next episode, I'm going to say. Future me can deal with this. For now, this is fine. And uh, hopefully we won't end up with uh, with rioting through a lack of food. I think we caught it in time. We had enough warning that we were able to sort it. But it's a bit of a concern that apparently now the food numbers are broken. And we can no longer trust it to tell us what is really going on with our crops. I blame the bakeries. I knew, I knew they were a bad idea. I was always say that's why I didn't have any. I knew they'd ruin everything. And now I, I finally built them, because people kept saying I should. Oh god, we lost a manor. I finally built the bakeries and everything's gone wrong. Nothing makes sense anymore. Time and space have been warped beyond all recognition. Food both exists, exists and doesn't exist. It is both rising and falling. Nothing makes sense anymore. But that is all we have time for today. And I shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.